Good morning. Welcome to Quest Bites. I am your host, Corinne Cahill. Happy Friday. I hope you had a great week. I'm glad you're joining me this morning because we get to play with food today. So I hope you're excited for that. We have a challenge to see how strong spaghetti is when you create different structures with it. But first, we're going to play Spot the Quapples, our favorite game. I'll put 30 seconds on the clock to let you find them. There are five quapples in the photo in the spaghetti sauces. The quapple, of course, our education logo in the bottom left corner of your screen. The apple with the quest you in it. Let me restart the clock. 30 seconds to find all the quapples. Let me know if you find all of them. I had trouble finding the fifth one and I made this. So you, I, hopefully you have better eyes than me. About 15 seconds left. Let me know if you're watching this morning, even if you can't find all the clapple. 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Were you able to find them all? I know that little one on that third shelf, pretty tough to see, but I like to get you looking. So, Hopefully you were able to find them. If you weren't, we play next week. So just be here right at 930 so you can get in on the fun. So today we're having lots of fun. We have a spaghetti challenge and it's not eating spaghetti, though you are more than welcome to eat the spaghetti after you play with the spaghetti. So you'll need spaghetti, two sheets of styrofoam, books, and wooden blocks, or really anything you want. So just uh, as we go through it, be thinking about other things you could be using to test the strength of the spaghetti and the different structures that you could make. But we're going to go with these two examples. So if you've ever helped your parents cook spaghetti before, you know the dry noodles are pretty easy to break, super thin and bendy and brittle. I even split mine in half before I cook so the noodles are just a little shorter. But what if you used multiple of them? Do you think that the spaghetti will be able to hold up the styrofoam pieces in the book. So you're gonna stick your spaghettis into the styrofoam and see what you can get on top of them. So there's about 20 pieces of spaghetti noodles in there. Do you think it will be able to hold up the book? Not quite. That's okay. How about 200 spaghetti noodles? Do you think that'll be able to hold up the book? It does. And using that second styrofoam piece helps distribute your load more evenly across all your spaghetti noodles. And of course, the more spaghetti noodles you use, the more your load is distributed, meaning that all the spaghettis are helping each other hold up these books so they don't break. So let's try laying the spaghetti on its side to build kind of a bridge. Oh, here's another photo of more books on the spaghetti. It's doing a pretty good job. It doesn't have that many books on there or that many heavy books, but it's, it's spaghetti, so it's doing a lot of job. So here's our sideways lock with the sideways spaghetti. This is, I don't know, what would you guess? How many spaghetti noodles do you think that is? I'm gonna go with 20. It might be more than that, we'll see what? But here's our bridge structure. Do you think that this will be able to hold up the lock? It does. And just like any bridge, uh, suspension bridge, you have your suspension is being held on the top and the bottom, which is why you have weight on the top of your spaghetti noodles to hold them in place. And it's doing a pretty good job. But how about if we add more weight to it? Pretty amazing, right? You'll find that the strands on the bottom of the bundle will break first because they're under the most tension or being pulled apart. Since the dry pasta is brittle, it will break pretty fast and the other pieces will follow. You know that the one piece breaks really easily, so when multiple of them are breaking, they're all going to break because they're not helping each other distribute the load anymore. That kind of brittle failure is what engineers want to avoid when designing bridges or other structures. So that's something to think about while you are making your spaghetti bridges or spaghetti towers is what the first option would have been. Of course, you can always do other strength tests with your spaghettis. You can hang something from underneath the spaghetti. Of course, you will need to weight the spaghetti on top if you're going to try that. We'll put the instructions in the comments so that you can try this lesson. Send us your pictures and videos when you're able to make your spaghetti bridges and break your spaghetti bridges. 
I hope you join us on Monday because we are making walking paper horses. Pretty fun and easy. So don't miss that right here Monday at 930. In the meantime, have a nice weekend. Go play with some spaghetti noodles. And until next time, continue onward with your quest for knowledge. And thanks for watching.